Hello everyone, I'm Tresha Lionel and this is Buckingham News. Art in the Market and Art Attack were two art events held simultaneously in the heart of Buckingham on Thursday as a continuation of Fringe Week. Art in the Market was held at the Cattle Pens where professional and amateur artists were encouraged to come and show their skills. Giant Art Attack was inspired by Neil Buchanan and was an installation art piece created outside of the old jail and was inspired by Buckingham. Mara Hollander has a story. Art in the Market, featuring artists Keith Jones, Emily Poole and John Quill Bennett, was a community event that took place as part of Fringe Week. Well, we have a team of um, staff working for us and an event team. We also have an event committee. Um, officers bring reports to us and put together and then we choose the events that we like to do. This is one of the events, of many events that we've gone on throughout the year. Held under the trees in the cuddle pens, professional and amateur artists mingled, painted, drew and discussed what art means to them. For me, it certainly has been a salvation from for many reasons. Having a car accident uh, many years ago, but um, with thinking outside of my own situation. So it, it, it gave me freedom to take my mind on a journey to the beaches of Barbados or uh, Venice where this painting has been. Sponsorship for the materials used for this event was provided by the Little Buckingham Clinic. So it is quite an iconic scene and quite a popular place that we find a lot of people take loads of lovely photos of and spend a lot of time in in Buckingham. So obviously the Flosh Bridge, which is near the university actually, and Chandos Park. The first art attack, inspired by the work of Neil Buchanan, was held outside the old jail on Market Hill. Based on an idyllic scene that is often visited in Buckingham, it was important to include this one, which is part of the Buckingham Town Crest. The art installation was on display until 5 p.m. Thursday afternoon. Materials were donated by Florence Nightingale Hospice Vintage Charity Shop and Willen Hospice Charity Shop. This is Mara Hollander reporting for Buckingham News. Coffee shops and bespoke cafes have become either increasingly popular or deemed unnecessary in the market town of Buckingham, depending on who you ask. Black Goo, Buckingham's most recent edition, sparked controversy when it opened in May 2022. Natalie Ainsley reports. As of 2020, the small town of Buckingham had less than 16,000 residents. However, despite the small population, cafes have continued to open. The amount of cafes now surpassing 10. When coffee shop and restaurant Black Goo opened on Monday the 2nd of May, many citizens took to Facebook to voice their opinions on another coffee shop coming to the area. Black Goo owner Sasha takes a more positive approach to the variety of cafes in Buckingham. I think it's, I think people are always going to want to coffee. We're not just coffee. Uh, we are coffee, cake. Now the cake and bakes and everything. We have our own in-house bakery. You come here and you have a whole experience. You're not just going for a cup of coffee. Even though you are more than welcome for a cup of coffee. They wouldn't all be in business if, they, if there wasn't a market for it. Um, I think people have their favourites. I quite like the variety but there's nine probably quite a lot for Buckingham in terms of the size of the place but uh, yes yeah, so it quite high but I don't know. <laughs> Whether you're loyal to the coffee shop you choose to frequent or you like trying new cafes it's undeniable that new businesses bring many positives to small towns like Buckingham. I'm looking forward to seeing cafes new and old continue to thrive. This has been Natalie Ansley for Buckingham News. As Fringe Week continues, the mystery of the secret keys and interactive digital scavenger hunt experience has come to the retail shops in Buckingham. The Buckingham Town Council supported this initiative as a unique way to get residents and their families to enjoy an innovative shopping experience. Julia Finnegan has a story. Buckingham Town Council baked the project to promote visits to the fantastic range of shops in Buckingham and give families a unique high street experience with a free, exciting event that gets kids out of the house. 
And the idea is to give children something to do, activity during the summer, something they can do with their parents, grandparents, to go around and find out interesting facts and interesting features of Buckingham, which are there. The mystery of the street keys is located at 10 stop around the Buckingham Town Centre to visit, starting at the Conwall Place Kitchen in Conwall's Meadow and positioned so that family can discover hidden parts of the town. As part of the Town Council Fringe Week, the day provided an opportunity for great entertainment and activities for all the family, courtesy of local organisation and businesses. All they need is a phone, so it's like, you know, free activity. Um, and the reason that we took part is to get, obviously, like more people to come and know that we exist, but just because it's a bit of fun for the summer and it, um, like, gets the kids active and walking around the town and they get to see all the different small businesses. So, yeah, that's why. Yeah, there have been quite a few children. In fact, this morning um, there were a couple out there and they, I went out and they showed me how it works and they showed me the little... Uh, cartoon that comes up and they were taking pictures with it, so yeah, it's quite good. The mystery keys at the Conwall Place here in Buckingham, the children enjoyed collecting all the keys on different shops to get a little badge at the end. And we spoke to locals and they told all about this event. And uh, it is an event for children to enjoy and relax during the summer holiday. This is Julia Finnegan reporting for Buckingham News. It is hurricane season in the Caribbean, Bermuda and the U.S. creating this four-ingredient hurricane in a glass, also known as a rum punch, is a sure way to beat the heat and be student budget friendly. Triketa Alterbridge and I mixed it up. Rum is an integral part of Caribbean, Bermudian and island culture in general. This week's cocktail is a student-friendly four-step hurricane rum punch cocktail. You will need one or two Caribbean bartenders. Pitcher, two ounces of dark rum, two ounces light rum, tropical juice of your choice, but it must have passion fruit in it. We use the blend of mango, pineapple, and passion fruit. Lime, put your ice in your pitcher, pour both rums followed by the bottle of juice, squeeze half of the lime, stir, and there you have it, a hurricane rum punch. Thank you for watching Buckingham News. We'll see you next week.